This tutorial is designed to help you calculate mechanical efficiency. In our class, we use ME as our abbreviation for mechanical efficiency. In order for a machine to have good efficiency, we need to reduce the amount of friction involved. The formula for me mechanical efficiency is output work divided by input work. In class, you've probably seen me abbreviate that as WO over WI. We have to first determine where the output input work are on a machine. The easy one to see would be a lever. This is a first class lever. We're trying to lift a load with our effort or our input force. The output work is the work that the machine does on the load. You're going to take, remember work is FD, you're going to take the output force, which is the weight of the object in newtons, and to make life easier, we're going to say that's 10 newtons, times the distance that it moves. We're going to make up 2 meters. So the output work on this machine is going to be 20 joules of work. In an ideal world, our input work should be equal to the output work, but we have issues with friction. Input work is on this side of the machine. It's what you do to the machine to get the machine to work on the load. We have an issue right here. We're going to have a frictional force applied. That is going to keep the input work from equaling the output work. We're going to have to do ever so much input work to overcome the friction that is there. Our goal is to reduce that friction so those numbers are as close as possible. Once we have figured out the ratio between the output and the input work, we need to multiply that by 100 so that our answer is going to be in a percentage form. So we already know that our output work is 20 joules. We'll put that on the top of our fraction. Let's go over here and say uh, it's actually going to take us 5 newtons of, of input force, which is good. It makes it easier for us to accomplish the task. So however, Instead of it just moving 4 meters, it's going to actually move 5 meters. So if we plug that into our input work formula, our input force is 5 newtons, our input distance is 5 meters. We have a terribly inefficient machine here. This is going to give us 25 joules of input work. So now we have our formula. We plugged in our output work right here, our input work right here, and we're going to actually divide that out and multiply it times 100. When all is said and done, 20 divided by 25 is 0.8, and 0.8 by 100 is going to be 80. So we have a machine here that is 80% efficient. What that's telling you is you're having to do some work. 20% of the work you do simply goes into overcoming the friction. So when we calculate ME, this is how it's done.